Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the past one of this video, I would like to introduce a new PC router that I got, the HP T620 Plus. At the front side, we have a power button followed by the LED indicator. We also have two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 ports. These are the 3.5mm audio connectors for headphone and microphone input. At the back, we have the 19V power input, two audio jacks, VGA port, two DP ports, two USB ports and the Gigabit Ethernet port. This Ethernet port is powered by the Realtex chip. We also have the old school parallel port and a zero port. Here is the PCIe slot. One thing I don't like about the T620P is that the PCIe card is hidden inside the case and is very inconvenient to access to the connector once the cable is plugged into the Ethernet adapter. Let's open the pack panel and see what is inside. To open the CPU fan, simply slide the ring switch to the left and it up in this case. We have a mini PCIe connector here but it only fit the half height mini PCIe card. We also have the M.2 slot. For some revisions of the board, there will be an M SATA connector just right here. The Intel 4 port network adapter is perfectly fit in the X16 PCIe connectors of the PC. Let's remove it to accept the RAM module. These are two DDR3L RAM slots of the board, supporting max 16GB of RAM. Since the PC was left unattended for some time, I will need to clean it before using it. Great, it looks better now. Let's take a closer look at the internal connectors. As mentioned, the mini PCIe slot only fits half a cast. I have tested a wireless adapter from Broadcom, the PCM94322, and it's well working great right, with Ubuntu and OpenWRT. Beside the M.2 LSD, we can also plug a USB to the internal USB port as a boot rack. This will be good if you plan to run any lightweight OS, for example, over the RTs or Phoenix. For some revisions of the board, there will be an M SATA connector. Unfortunately, it will not exist for my case. If you only use one slot of the RAM, Make sure install it on the right side of the two module. And lastly, here is the PCIe X16 connector. Even though the form is X16, but the speed is limited to X4. We can install a low profile graphic card, for example, the GT730 or an Ethernet adapter on the board. We can now put the case cover back and proceed with the next step.
To powering on the PC, we will need the original HP power adapter. Please note that only the 85W and 90W adapter works with the PC. 60W power supply and all the third-party power adapter may not work with the routers or the PC. I have installed OpenWRT on the PC and it will work in RAID. The onboard network ports were configured as a one port and the Intel Core Ports Ethernet adapter were configured at LAN. With a normal speed test, the download speed reached 380 Mbps while the CPU at 85% idle. With this result, I believe that the router should have no problem handling gigabit Ethernet connection. So, that's all for the video. In the next one, we will do some tests to see the performance of the PC running OpenWRT. The test consists of NAT, OpenVPN, Wygod VPN, and the stability of the one connection. We will also take a look at the Lucy app statistic to see network interfaces, performance, and the temperatures of the PC. If you are using this PC as a router or having the similar setup, please share it in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video. Bye bye.